Hey, what's up, everybody? Jonathan back here on Pacific Inlet. Well, as you can see, uh, I went ahead and skidded up a bunch of logs, got them processed and loaded, so we're ready to make a run to the sawmill. I've actually already got a course player route recorded, too, so go ahead and get the truck started. I've already got it loaded in. We're calling it loop to mill. Go ahead and drive the course. Hope that it, uh, yeah, that appears to be going okay. Running into anything that Okay, so we'll just let him go and uh, get busy. Uh, we'll probably need to cut some thing around. So let's go ahead and process or fire it up. Or fail buncher, excuse me. Already off to a great start. <laughs> well, I um, hope everybody's been enjoying the uh, map, the new map Interior by Serious Mods. It's a pretty cool map. I really like playing on it. It's challenging. Thinking about uh, switching over to Emerald Valley once FDR Login had at that one out but that's not going to be released uh let's see today is march the second it's not going to be released for another week I haven't much luck today with the processor have i got on you know i've got a bunch got it on the right go to key profile there that You know, I think what it could be is uh, I'm used to hitting a certain button on my joystick on the processor to close the grapple and it's the other way around. I may have to switch that. Assistant. Helps turn it on. Yeah, I did some uh, switching around over there on the, the interior series. I was using a fellow buncher and a skitter, but I switched over to a uh, just using the processor. Ah, oh, uh, using the processor, cut down the trees and process them there, and I switched over to a forwarder to uh, go collect the logs because that's normally. Uh, Think what you see up in the north. Some logging operations and depends on the terrain of the company. We won't do that here because, you know, this isn't really. I mean, there's some steep areas, but it's not really what I'll consider mountainous. Stick with the skitter and the fellow buncher.
I was able to get into the joy to key settings and play around and I think I got the hitter controls figured out. Remember if I was trying to operate the blade was uh lowering raising and lowering the um arm on the grapple and I think I got that figured out. Good. That's fixed. That's gonna be a help. Come on, oh good. Nice when it works and it doesn't it's fun. I don't wanna click it there. This one. Do feel We'll just keep cutting a swath down through here. Like actually I'm getting a little bit further than where to go. I'm actually on the road. Kinda need to be heading back or actually behind me. I see that the truck's just about back to the landing, so switch over there and check it out. Good thing I checked because he actually gone too far. Uh, well, actually, I forgot to check the uh, uh, deactivate stop at the next waypoint, whatever. Uh oh. Alright, we'll just back him up and run into our grapple over. Yeah, we're still using the uh, course play that's, uh, I guess, sort of a you know, non official. Beta, even maybe, I don't know. So, no talents. <laughs> Thing, okay, let's get back to cutting. Alright. This cut off a little closer to the ground.
Guess not. deep down there. I don't think I'm going to tackle that. I'm just going to cut on up here to the road. Probably probably just turn around and go back down the hill I guess. I don't know. just stop right there <clears throat> and we'll go back down the hill and then uh, cut a few more of these trees while we're What happened there? Okay, well, that's enough on the hill up there. We'll see this machine back down here so we can start making another run. Just at least over here somewhere and get up. Um, see if we can't get a few of these skidded.
have to cut just a few more of these trees right here too. This is a couple of big ones right in pretty close. Just cut. Oops. <laughs> oh boy. Close. Oh well. Just park this right here now. Up in our skitter. As you can see now, whenever I raise and lower the blade, back end stays put like it's supposed to because I fixed that. Banging my processor all up today. Good thing they don't include uh, maintenance cost in there for repairs and stuff. Get that tree from that odd angle. Get some back here to cut.
and get these pushed up a little closer. Navigate these things down. Perfect. I decided to go straight on with the trees at the processor instead of uh, at a side angle, sort of, because uh, whenever I went to lift the trees up with the processor, it kept flinging trees everywhere because it got tangled and big mess. I'm not going to skid up too many trees. We've already got about a half a load over there already processed, so do too much just for sake of time. But I probably will keep uh, getting up and processing trees off camera because that way it makes the uh, and get loads a little faster. I was doing that before and then kind of got away from it. I'll try to get back to doing that again. Let's see if we can get, can get a couple more, then we'll and start processing that up. I like how this skitter gives a good tight grip on these logs and you don't feel like you're going to lose them. Although occasionally sometimes they'll slip out, but I don't think about it. Just uh, push these up a little bit, bunch them up. And I'll leave the does or the uh, skitter right here in case we need to bunch them up some more. Let's get these processed and piled up and then make us another load today. Maybe we won't throw our truck to the side with logs this time. <laughs>
Everything goes pretty smooth. You can actually process fluid pretty fast. And just pick those logs straight up and then process them right swing them around I think that was causing some problems before that with a one longer with it gray but that's um but I don't have a tractor yet. That's what we're working up towards. I was trying to remember where we were at and we were trying to um get enough saved up to get a tractor so we could get the uh, wood chipper deal up real quick. Right in there. Out some. Get anything. Oh, that's too big of a. <laughs>
I need to work on my uh, log rack thing again some more. Process those things on the there where it makes it up easy. Uh, tractors and That's probably all crooked. better See if we can get a few more on here reach the limits of what that looks like because good load I think yeah I believe that'll work we'll, we'll save the rest for later wrap this up I think I'm just going to uh, annually drive this thing down here so let's get this uh, down to the mill we can kind of talk about what we're going to do next time, which is basically just keep on doing what we're doing. Uh, we're going to try to get enough to buy a tractor. We can put the little wood chipper attacher on the front of it in a trailer. Uh, actually, we've already got a trailer. All we need is a dolly to pull the trailer with. We'll just use that trailer for a while because we don't have just a whole lot of money at the moment. Um, 
I would like to eventually also save up enough money to get that Peterbilt truck. I uh, went in and modified the cost of it a little bit to make it more realistic. It was $10, and that's just not going to work for me since on this particular series on Pacific Inlet, we're trying to do things from the, uh, you know, st just starting out. Getting the truck for $10, I don't think it's going to work. About took that turn too fast. Anyway, I got it up to, uh, I believe I put it at $125,000. And then whenever you add on the, uh, maximum engine that you can put in there, at least for this game, uh, it's bumps it up to a little over 200000 so we'll need hundred thousand for that Peter because I want to get the well maybe not the max we might go for the next to highest engine puts it around 500 horsepower maybe 550 we'll, we'll see you a little bit later uh, we will definitely need another truck at some point even if it's just for hauling equipment around or maybe we'll eventually get to where we can have a big old pile of logs and we can maybe get two trucks going I don't know that was kind of my idea from the start of this series, to have two log trucks. And we could be loading up one while the other is standing at the sawmill delivering the wood. So far that hasn't worked out too well. We, we bought two trailers and had two trucks, but just never got that going. Uh, let's see. What the, but the next thing we're going to go for is uh, try to get us enough money saved up to get us that tractor. I think we've already got the uh, wood chipper attached. Let's see. Here anyway. The fuel tank. That's filled up. Right. 76,000. Be more like that. We'll be able to buy whatever we want to. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get this truck back up there to the landing and uh, we'll get it repositioned, ready to go for next time. And I'll try to get some more logs skidded up so we can just be processing and delivering instead of watching me cut and process and load and all that good stuff. I'll try to have uh, another trailer load ready to go. So we'll try to, here on out, maybe maybe try to get two loads of video. That way we can buy things a little quicker. We still need that tractor and the chipper and dump grinder. But anyway, we're, we're getting it. Um, but uh, real quick before we, we sign off for this video, let's look at the number of trees we've cut on this map. I hadn't, hadn't done that in a while. Let's get up here to our statistics page. We've cut down over 2,600 trees and uh, still got a long way to go. We'll get there. May take us a while. I'm determined to play this map out until there's no trees. Well, I I'm going to leave some around some key spots just for aesthetics and to keep it true to life because normally you wouldn't cut around rivers or lakes or anything right up to them most of the time so we'll leave a few trees here or there but <clears throat> I'm just curious to see how many we can cut off of here how many loads we can get uh, oh gosh we're probably already up to uh, I'd say close to 110 115 by now I, I, don't, I haven't been keeping track of it is this my turn We will get there. I feel like all these trees over here on the left, I wouldn't cut all those. I just cut a few of them out of there. And probably what I'll do is just cut out the dead ones around these lakes and then leave the live trees for wildlife and whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off and then uh, we'll see you next time. So this is Jonathan logging on Pacific Inlet. Until next time, have a good one.